Online gaming is a worldwide phenomenon, enjoyed by hundreds of millions of players across the globe. During the pandemic, gaming increased dramatically, and the choices are endless. But there's one kind of gaming yet to be discovered by mainstream players. On this episode of BSV Stories, we unravel the potential of blockchain games. We'll take a look at some of the unique capabilities of blockchain-based gaming for individual players and how they can benefit the multi-million dollar esports industry. This is BSV Stories. I'm in New York City, one of the most dynamic, diverse, and creative cities in the world. Well known as the global tech and talent capital, New York is not only home to leading commercial and investment banks and financial services, it's also a leader in the digital game development industry, with esports companies sprouting left and right. My first stop is a gaming lounge in downtown Manhattan. What are your favorite games? Uh, fighting games in general. Favorite games at the moment is probably League of Legends. A lot of fighting games. Not a ton of the most recent ones. Um, some of the Smash games, at least the Nickelodeon All-Stars, has been really fun lately. When asked about blockchain games... Blockchain? What do you mean by blockchain? As in, like, um, a developer having multiple titles? Uh, no, not at all. Sorry. No, not any blockchain games. It's funny, I'm a software engineer, so I actually had done some blockchain, basically like a project like involving a lot of like blockchain research and like uh, a lot of stuff like that, so it's interesting. Yeah, so I know blockchain allows us to sort of follow through transactions a little bit easily and follow through account and usership. Bingo! But Jennifer is no ordinary gamer. I'm the CEO of Stats Helix, a game tech company that uses software to bridge the gap between creators and consumers of data for games. That's awesome. And what did you do previous to that? I'm a four-time world championship winning esports team owner with Flipside Tactics. To help us better understand blockchain gaming, I spoke to Fix Gaming's Adam Kling and David Case on the sidelines of the Coingy Conference in New York. Fix is the company behind Crypto Fights, an online game where every player's move is stored on the Bitcoin SV blockchain. We can actually put the moves in Crypto Fights as a transaction on BSV. And so now you have essentially um, kind of proof of gameplay or proof of work inside of a game. If you're playing Fortnite or something like that, you can't go to the servers and find out what did everyone do, what did my opponent do. And even if you could, there's no cryptographic signatures. There's nothing that actually lets you track back the history and really see this person did this. That ability to verify every move could help making cheating in online gaming and esports almost impossible. Tyler Farnsworth works with an American esports organization built by gamers. Cheating in esports is a challenge right now. It's a big hurdle because there's not a good way to truly see whether someone is or is not cheating. And how does BSV help overcome these obstacles? There are anti-cheat software that's built into the games. However, that sits within inside the walled garden of each individual game or the publisher themselves. There's an opportunity with blockchain to have things on a public ledger to showcase with provable veracity whether something was done incorrectly or not provably fair results that can be independently verified. That's exciting. And it's not just cheating that blockchain can help with. Tyler also sees big advantages when it comes to sending esports winners their prize money. Another key thing we see with blockchain is major tournaments that are played at scale. Distribution of prize winnings or tournament winnings has always been a bit of a challenge. It's been a more of a legacy payment model. And when we're talking about a global sport that has people with different payment models, different currencies, different regulatory compliance issues, that can become a, a, a real challenge and a real nightmare. If you're using a single source, a single style of currency that has a wallet that is accepted worldwide that can enable uh, instant payouts mm -hmm. in the thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions, I guess at an un, you know, unbounded level there, that's exciting. 
The synergies between online gaming and blockchain have been widely recognized and discussed due to the enormous benefits they bring to each other. But only Bitcoin SV can bridge the gap between the online gaming industry and the global adoption of Bitcoin. So in CryptoFiance, when you log in, you're actually logging into a non-custodial Bitcoin wallet. So when you obtain, you know, that NFT, it's yours and we cannot take it away. And so that's probably one of the biggest foundational differences between the legacy games and blockchain gaming. CryptoFight's play to earn feature allows players to earn rewards and even money. And now with play to earn, it's kind of evolving more into where you are a part of this ecosystem and you are an actor inside of that. With, especially with play to earn games is that they typically allow or have a pathway for you to actually monetize your gameplay. Everything from the NFTs that you can make money from, you can trade them. There is like the PVP systems. There's um, actually participating uh, directly in kind of the game's economy and almost being like a landlord. So it, 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 it brings a very different dynamic and feel to what I think gaming is going to become into the future. And the play to earn is, is, is just really kind of, I think, the next step in the evolution for what gaming can be. This year, CryptoFights recorded more than 2 million blockchain transactions in a single day. That's more than Ethereum's daily average and nearly as much as the combined daily transactions on all other blockchains. And remember, CryptoFights is still in beta, so you ain't seen nothing yet. What are your thoughts about a blockchain game where you can monetize, earn some money, and get instant payouts in real time? Um, I think they have kind of a similar feeling to like, I would say not necessarily gambling, but uh, at least have like that kind of betting aspect where it has a lot of like dopamine rush, like when you're winning. I think people would love that. I think there's a few great people in New York that are working on this and working on leagues based around blockchain and NFTs really, um, that allow people to get these instant payouts. Um, I think it will be interesting to see. That sounds like a dream. Like, get to play games and then you get paid. I mean, that's like how ga professional gamers are now. But hey, I mean, if, if, if something like that exists, that'll be pretty dope.